also there are an awful lot of pests you might deal with when you are beekeeping. Uh, this one only is a problem if you have a weak hive, really weak hive, or if you have equipment that you've left sitting out. Uh, it's the wax moth. So the wax moth goes inside the empty equipment or the weak hive, lays its eggs, the larvae hatch out, and then they go to town. They tunnel through the wax. They tunnel through everything. They eat through wood. They eat through plastic. They are disgusting. Some scientists are investigating the potential use of wax moth larvae to decompose plastics. Mm. I kid you not. They will eat plastic. They're crazy and gross. I hate them. And they can do a whole lot of damage to uh, your equipment if you let them get out of control. This is when they're just about to go into their cocoons. See, I've got a whole bunch of these here. And inside each one is a fat, juicy wax moth larva. Another one. Here's another one. guys are burrowing right into the wood. These wax moths have uh, drilled little holes into the top of the frame. They can damage the woodenware, they can destroy a hive, and they have this webby material that they spin their cocoons out of. It's all over your frames if you have wax moths. Here's a look in between some frames that have some wax moths in them. This is that cocoon material. And then this is what the frame looks like. There's the wax moth larva. And you've got this whole frame. Used to be, used to have foundation on it. Used to have wax on it, rather. They ate it all. one way to get your frames clean so you want to stay on top of it there's not unfortunately a whole lot you can do in the in the summertime because the weather's warm it's hard to get rid of that larva number one thing you can do to avoid wax moths is not leave your hive equipment sitting out like I did uh, a couple other things that you can do to help avoid wax moths they don't like light and they're not fans of cold so a nice freeze, hard freeze in the winter, should kill off the wax moth larva. Uh, wait till they're good and dead, and then you can store your equipment inside in a, in a safer place. Keep strong, healthy hives. It'll keep your wax moths to a minimum.